Tanzania is a poor country by our standards. Most people can grow enough food to support themselves and their families and build a simple home and even help support their clergy by making gifts of chickens or beans or corn. But many people have very limited access to educational opportunities and health care, especially if they live in rural areas. The Tanzanian government is committed to providing health care opportunities and basic education to all its citizens, but it just doesn't have the capacity to do it everywhere. Everybody doesn't have the access they should. And so church-founded clinics and schools are really important by broadening people's capacity to access those important resources for well-being and development. One of the sites we visited while we were in Nuala was a clinic in a town called Nulindi, which was founded with substantial financial help from the Diocese of Milwaukee, especially in funding its maternity ward, pharmacy, and primary health care clinic. The whole town turned out to welcome us. It seemed like we met local officials and the clergy and all sorts of citizens. There were traditional Wakande dancers and gifts for us, including a wonderful, lively, young black goat as a gift for our bishop, Stephen Miller. And then they showed us around the clinic. We got to visit the different wards and meet the different medical staff, and we left them gifts in turn of some baby clothes and medications for the moms and babies who use that maternity ward. The clinic doesn't just serve Anglicans or church members here or in other places. It serves anybody who can come access health care there, paying the minimal fees where they apply, although some care is free. We even heard in some places that people came all the way across the border from Mozambique because clinics in Tanzania were their closest access to basic health care. When we were there in the Lindy, it seemed like the whole community turned out to greet us and thank us. And one of the things they kept chanting in their welcome was, Lulindi Safi, Lulindi Safi. Safi means healthy or clean or good. So they were thanking us and saying that the clinic helps keep Lulindi Safi. One of the big needs we heard about again and again was the need for more trained medical staff and uh, to serve in places like the Lindy Clinic and other places. And one of the needs we encountered also in talking with young adult groups at Nuala Cathedral and at St. Mark's in Tuara was that many young people are in search of training and of job opportunities, which seems like if we could find the capacity here to help support people in getting training to serve as medical assistants and nurses, it would really be meeting many needs at once.